Good evening, everyone. I'm Jason Paulus. Kristen is off tonight. Disturbing video tonight out of Utica as a student was stabbed by a classmate at Proctor High School this morning. But it could have been much worse. News Channel 2's Ben Kinney joins us now live outside of Proctor High School. And Ben, I understand that teachers there were the ones who actually took the knife away from the student. Yes, good evening, Jason. It was two physical education teachers. They not only took that knife away from that student, but they also held him until security could get there to fully apprehend him. The whole thing caught on video. Now, a warning, some viewers may find this video disturbing. In this video posted to Facebook, a student wearing a red shirt runs up to a student wearing a blue hoodie from behind and appears to swing at him. The student in the blue hoodie then charges at the student in the red shirt, who now appears to have an object in his hands. The student in the blue then punches the alleged assailant multiple times before pinning him against a wall, struggling to keep the knife away. He then attempts to take out the legs of the alleged assailant. It's at this point that a faculty member attempts to break up the fight, nearly being stabbed herself. Realizing she cannot get the knife away, she runs to fetch more help. Another faculty member then pins the arm of the alleged assailant against the wall and is able to remove the knife a short time later, all while more faculty members step in to break up the fight. The 18-year-old victim of the attack is recovering from multiple stab wounds to his hands and back. Thankfully, those injuries are not believed to be life-threatening. The incident has raised multiple questions about security at the school. In March, the district purchased metal detectors for each building in an effort to prevent incidents like this. We're looking at the, you know, the metal detecting systems itself. Mm -hmm. We're looking at uh, how they are calibrated. We're interviewing, well, obviously the police are interviewing the, the assailant and, and trying to, uh, you know, get information from him about how the, the weapon got brought into the school. The Utica Police Department and Utica City School District released a joint statement this afternoon saying in part that the Utica Police Department will have an increased presence both inside and outside of Proctor High School and that students will not be allowed to exit the building for free periods and lunch for the remainder of this week. UPD is also asking any student who may have filmed the incident on their cell phone cameras to come forward to either the assistant principal or their counselor with that footage. Now, the district will have counseling available for the remainder of the week for any students who may have witnessed the incident and feel they need uh, to talk to someone. An investigation into the incident is ongoing at this time. Charges will not be released until that investigation is complete. Now, Superintendent Nolan wants to assure parents that this is an isolated incident between the two students. Jason? All right, Ben Kenny reporting live for us. Thank you.